Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I downloaded the Invasion DLC, and I have to say that this is my favorite map. It's called Favela, and I gotta tip my hat to the Infinity Ward team for Call of Duty Ghost because they finally were able to design a map that is just awesome. So, this map just played really well, and it was much better than... Uh, the maps that you know came out originally with the game and even some of the other DLC maps that were released, I think that they really hit the nail on the head when the design team configured the layout and everything for this map. So uh, maybe they're finally getting their shit together and you know might see some some better maps coming out because this one I thought was just awesome. And <laughs> what? Oh, oh! They they didn't design this map. Oh, oh! This map's from Modern Warfare Two. Well, that explains it. <laughs> but, uh, at least they didn't totally fuck this map up because uh, they had released Scrapyard in a previous DLC, and Scrapyard was also one of my favorite maps from Modern Warfare Two. And the new Scrapyard, I don't like it at all. They just you know added all these different things with the underground and it changed the whole way that the game played and I thought that they made it worse so at least with favela they didn't fuck anything up and try to add like underground tunnels and even more protected camping spots so they left the layout everything as it was they cleaned it up it does look a little better it's got some more detail it's, it's pretty, and I am playing this on Xbox 360, so I haven't played it yet on Xbox One to see how much better it looks on Xbox One. But I'll probably do that coming up sometime soon. But it played very well on Xbox 360. Everything was pretty much the same as it ever was in Modern Warfare 2. And that is a good thing. Some things should just be left alone. <laughs> when you have like... You know, some of these classic maps that are coming back, I don't like that they try to change them up and, and reimagine them. Even though I guess uh, Strike Zone is a reimagined version of Dome, which I do like Strike Zone. But uh, I, I think Dome, didn't they bring Dome back and it's all changed up? It doesn't play the same either. So yeah, at least they left Favel alone. I think. As long as they, if they want to bring maps back that are classic, you know, great maps, just leave them alone. Freshen them, freshen them up, add some more details. But for the whole structure and layout and the way that the map plays, don't go fucking with shit that already works. If it's not broke, don't try to fix it. Especially when you got a reputation for making maps that suck in the first place. Don't try to reimagine the maps in your own version of map suckiness. <laughs> but yeah, I like the map. Um, this for the other maps, the one with the pirate boat, I didn't really care for that one too much. It just seemed like I was getting shot in the back from everywhere. Uh, the, the Pharaoh one, I, I don't really know the names of the maps. I guess I could Google them real quick, but... You'll get what I'm coming at. The Egyptian themed one, it was okay. I I didn't mind that one. And also the one that was like the the Mexican town, it was pretty good too. I, the really one, only one that I didn't care for too much was the pirate one. And I think that this is probably my favorite uh, DLC so far. I haven't cared too much for some of the DLC or for any of the maps in the game and particular at all <laughs> and what else uh, I think there's there should be at least one more map pack coming for ghost I wish time would speed up so that we could just get a new call of duty because I've, I've lost a lot of interest in playing ghost I went back and played modern warfare 2 and as long as people weren't noob tubing, I had much more fun playing Modern Warfare 2 than I did playing Ghost. And I can't even really put my finger on what it is. I guess it's like 
I don't, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like I shouldn't lose a gunfight, and I do lose a gunfight. Maybe it's, it, it doesn't feel as laggy as, as like Black Ops 1 or even Black Ops 2 felt to me at times. It's, but it's, it's like it's, it's hiding the lag somehow. <laughs> I don't know, it's a conspiracy. It's just something that I can't put my finger on. But it just frustrates the shit out of me when I play Ghost, and I don't know why. And it's not really that you die so fast, because you died really fast in Modern Warfare 2, and you died really fast in Modern Warfare 3, but something about Ghost, and if you, if you know what it is, if you could help me put my finger on what it is that drives me insane about this game, let me know in the comments down below. Because I, I hear so many people just saying, Oh, Ghost sucks! But really can't say why. I mean, there's, you know, IEDs. IEDs suck. But I mean, there was Claymores and Bouncing Betties in previous Call of Duty. So it's, it's really not that. And there's not a lot of people noob tubing and stuff like that. I just... I can't put my finger on one particular thing that sucks <laughs> but and I haven't heard too many particular things about what sucks in the game from other people either they just say it sucks so I would like to hear some specific things that you think are wrong with the game on why it sucks the the maps are probably the main thing that I have a complaint about and that's really all I can I can think of well, let me know what you think in the comments. Favela is awesome. I think it's worth buying the DLC just to play on Favela. I hope they make a Favela 24-7 playlist. I would probably play that. That would probably be all I play. <laughs> Alright guys, well hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you later. Take it easy.